Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. You know, the last few years have seen a record number of new businesses being started across the US. While a lot of this was fueled by the pandemic relief, this trend shows no sign of slowing down. Even with a recession looming, we may continue to see this trend of business hypergrowth. But is this a smart idea? Most small businesses fail within the first five years. So does that mean millions of small businesses are going to fail within the next few years? Or has something changed in the US economy that will make this chapter of business hypergrowth different? And finally, if something has changed, what can you do about it to stay ahead of the curve and be one of the business owners or entrepreneurs that not only survives, but stands apart from the millions of other new businesses? Speaking of standing apart, if you get this video to 1,000 likes, we'll give out an extra $1,000 grant to one of our subscribers. So thank you for subscribing and of course, hitting the like button. And a special thanks to our Skip one-on-one -on -one funding and business experts for making this video possible, but more on that later. Okay, so let me briefly explain this business hypergrowth phase and how we got here. As we know, there are over 33 million small businesses in the U.S. In 2021 alone, over 5.4 million applications for new businesses were filed, the most of any year on record by far. And 2022 is set to outpace that yet again. In fact, at the beginning of 2022, Intuit predicted that 17 million new businesses would be formed this year. Most of those, of course, one-person businesses, but still 17 million new businesses. So why now? First, as I already mentioned, pandemic relief, record low interest rates, and access to cheap capital were the major tailwinds that have fueled this growth over the past couple of years. People got checks in the mail and many decided to put them towards full-time or part-time businesses. One of the biggest examples was SBA's EIDL grants program. Nearly 20 million people received $1,000 grants just for having 1099 income. With that $1,000, virtually anyone can incorporate a business build a website, find customers, and start accepting payments. In fact, with the new Skip course, you can do all of that for half that amount. Pro tip, if you want to check out the course, link in the description, you'll get a special discount. The second major trend, and personally what I think is the most interesting and telling, is that the dream of entrepreneurship continues to strengthen. According to that same Intuit survey, 57% of the respondents said they dream of one day owning their own business, citing being my own boss and having control of their future as their major motivators. Thirdly, studies show that people are happier when they are starting a business. This is related to the point above when people feel like they have more control over their future and believe in this dream of financial independence and a successful business. Yet, despite this trend and the hyper growth of new businesses, most new businesses fail. That's just what the data continues to show. 50% of businesses fail within the first five years. Being an entrepreneur is incredibly stressful. It can have major tolls on someone's mental and physical health. Aside, this is a photo of me five years ago. Notice how I didn't have any gray hair. And average wages for an entrepreneur are low. According to one survey, the average salary for an entrepreneur in the U.S. is $43,000 per year. Personally, what I find most fascinating is that most small businesses start because of short-term thinking rather than long-term thinking. Starting with the dream, being overly optimistic, and ignoring the stats and the data that basically say, hey, this is difficult and you're probably going to fail because most small businesses do. Let me share with you three of the most common reasons why small businesses fail and what you can do about it. First, not having an effective business plan and not planning. You should force yourself to think ahead one, three, five, and 10 years down the road. This will help give you a path for yourself so you know what direction to head in. Yes, things will change along the way. Of course, you just simply don't know the countless, and I mean countless, things that you don't know. Things will surprise you along the way that you would have never predicted, but at least you'll have started with a goal in mind and a path on how to get there. The second reason is financial. Most small businesses take a few years to start making money and being cash flow positive. It's basic math. If you're not making enough money to pay for your overhead, your expenses, and your team, you're going to need to cover the gap somehow. You'll need to have enough of a foundation in case 
surprises come along the way. And the third part is not having a go-to market strategy to get customers, not understanding where your customers are, how much they'll pay and how you'll reach them. So the good news is you can control all of these factors. Some of the brief solutions are better business planning, as I mentioned, thinking ahead, charting your course, getting the funding to build the necessary foundation, whether that's grants, loans, lines of credit, venture capital, or other financing, putting together a funding plan so you can build a strong foundation. And the third for reaching customers is, of course, building your online presence now more than ever. This is crucial, whether your business is offline or online, and it is easier than ever before. You could have a fully functioning website up and running in a matter of hours. That's how easy it is today. Speaking of growing your business and building a strong foundation, if you're serious about starting funding and growing your business, our team at Skip can help you. We've helped tens of thousands of businesses directly get over 2 billion collectively. We've also helped businesses put together and execute on a roadmap to get them to the next level. If you're curious or wanna learn more, use the link in the description or go to helloskip.com slash join. Be sure to use the promo code rider invite to get priority access. It will guarantee you get a spot from someone on our team. So to summarize, despite this hyper growth era we're in of new businesses, yes, most small businesses will fail, but I do believe this dream of entrepreneurship will only continue to strengthen as it becomes even easier to incorporate a business, put up a website, and start making money. If this is the path you're thinking about going down or it's the path you're already on, I encourage you to take a moment to think about your longer-term business goals and how you can beat the odds and increase your chances of succeeding and thriving as a business owner and entrepreneur. When I started my first company over 10 years ago, I first started it as a side hustle with a full-time job. That gave me the necessary time to plan the business, test the business, build a team, learn, and most importantly, de-risk things for myself. So I encourage you to take the long view, whether you're at day one or day 5,000 in your journey. As an entrepreneur, you'll not only be driving the economy forward and potentially creating jobs and value for others, but I hope you'll feel happier, more in control, and like you're making a positive impact on the world that has staying power. Speaking of staying power, I hope you'll tell YouTube that this video has staying power by hitting the like button. And of course, you'll be adding $1 to the pot. 1,000 likes mean one of our subscribers and supporters is getting a $1,000 grant. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.